Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your November 2016 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising Signs. So happy birthday to all you November born Sages. I am using the Witches Tarot deck for this um, November forecast along with the Romance Angel Oracle cards by Dorian Virtue and then also the Whispers of Lord Ganesha by Angela Hartfield. I did feel inspired to pull you guys an additional Romance Angel card this month of November. Okay. So the overall energy for the month, Sag, is we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Very nice. I see very fiery, passionate, ambitious this month, having a lot of energy and enthusiasm. I see you charging forward, moving forward for some Sages. You could be moving to a new home. You could be uh, traveling this month, but definitely very passionate, very creative. Let's see here. Right at the center, and this is energy that either you're coming into right at the start of November or that maybe you're dealing with right now because I'm filming uh, this reading at the end of October. We do have the energy of the sun crossed by the five of wands. So the sun, this is your happiness, your joy. This is success, vitality. This is your health improving. So this is one of the best, if not the best card within the entire deck. And this is what you're opening up with in November. So this is amazing energy. You feeling more energized. Uh, for some Sages, you could very well be in the spotlight in some way. You could be shining bright. You could be spending more time outdoors in the sunshine. Uh, perhaps for some of you, maybe you're going on vacation. Uh, depending where you live in the world, if it's, if it's sunny and, and it's a warmer climate, you definitely could be outdoors more. Um, you also could be spending a lot of time with children. Children could be significant right at the start of the month. Um, but I think that for a very small number of Sages, with the Five of Wands crossing, I think that you could have been dealing with some challenges. Maybe if you're a Sag woman who has been trying to conceive, this definitely could have been you dealing with some challenges when it comes to conception. But if that's the case, I don't want to jump ahead, but if that's the case, I see that coming to an end soon. This is a beautiful healing energy, so... I do see many of you just in a really good place right at the start of the month. Uh, the Five of Wands crossing, I see you coming out very successful for many of you, but perhaps maybe some Sages, this is either competition around you or some sort of maybe challenging people. Oftentimes I can see the Five of Wands as coworkers, jealous coworkers, or just people you're not getting along with. Kind of, you know, in a challenge or an obstacle, something you have to deal with. It's more annoying than anything else. So I see you, Sag, uh, coming out very successful, but, but perhaps maybe there was some sort of uh, annoying, challenging energy or people that you had to deal with. The Five of Wands can be anything from competition around you to petty arguments, butting heads with another person dealing with some jealousy. Uh, for some Sages, this could be within the workplace. And then for some other Sages, this can be some sort of internal struggles. Um, maybe you're trying to reach this, this beautiful place, um, this, this happiness, this joy, this healing, and maybe you've been dealing with some challenges. Um, but again, if that's the case, I see that coming to an end. I think that for many of you, this is you shining bright, and I think that for some of you, you could be dealing with some jealous friends or coworkers. I think there's some jealousy around you this month, Sag, to be honest. Uh, that's what I'm getting for some of you. Now, right at the foundation, I do have the Page of Pentacles. 
So for some, some Sages, there could be a child or children that are quite significant um, because I have the sun in the page here. There could be something going on um, with a child. Maybe this is you and like an ex-partner. If you have a child with someone, this could be you guys butting heads. Um, but I do think everything's going to work itself out if that's the case. Um, but there could be a child that's, that's very significant. Also with the Page of Pentacles, this can be some sort of communication or information. Uh, that came through that brought in a lot of happiness with the sun here this is something really positive so you could have received some really exciting positive news in the past and or you know this could have been an opportunity this could have been an opportunity to make more money for some sages this could have been some sort of raise or promotion um, but this is really really positive for some sages you could have moved to a new house I also do have the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past. So this is interesting how we have the page and then also the Knight here. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past. So for some Sages, this could have been your energy. Um, you know, he's he's a planner. So he's very much in his mind. He's, he's very careful. He's very cautious. He's going to plan out the steps before moving forward. So for some of you, this could have been you... Uh, maybe planning out the details, planning out the steps be before taking them. Very cautious, very careful, but also the Knight of Pentacles can be that slower forward moving energy. So this could have been things happening, you know, slowly but surely in the recent, pa recent past. Um, when this Knight's energy is at play, is, it is a bit of a process. So there could have been some Sages dealing with something happening very slowly. But this particular knight always reaches his goal. He can also represent an earth sign person. For some Sages, there could have been a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo individual that was very significant in the past. Um, this, this person could have presented an offer to you for some Sages. Now, crowning you, I have the Ten of Wands. And I really feel like whatever has been annoying you, whatever has been difficult or weighing you down, stressing you out, Sag, it is coming to an end soon. Tens represent cycles that are completing, and I see many of you maybe feeling burdened, feeling weighed down by something or a situation, but it is coming to an end. I want you to know that. Um, for some of you, you're simply working too hard. You could have had this opportunity to make more money, and literally, maybe you're taking far too much on. Some sages, you could be spreading yourself just a little bit too thin. You definitely might need to lighten your load. Um, maybe ask for help because coming up in the in, around the second week, we have the Three of Cups here. So maybe some sages, you need to really rely upon your friends. Let them be a, some sort of support for you, um, Sag. Maybe you need to ask them for help, but friends or your friendships could be very significant around the second week. And this is also a nice lighter energy. So there could be some Sages, um, maybe you've been doing nothing but working. That's all you might have been doing. And then maybe around the second week, some Sages, you're deciding to, you know what, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna hang out with my friends. This could be you getting out, being social with the Three of Cups here, but also this can be for some Sages you wanting to celebrate something. There could have been, there could be something that is happening and you want to celebrate it. Now, for some of you, maybe you are conceiving. Uh, for some of you, you've landed a new job or you're, you've moved to a new home or you're going to and you want to maybe tell your friends, your family, you want to celebrate it. This is some nice energy around the second week, and it's totally different from maybe the energy that you're dealing with here. So for some Sages, you simply need to lighten your load or you need to ask for help. Now, in the position of your power, I do have the Five of Pentacles. So another five here, Sag. So we have the Five of Wands, and now I have the Five of Pentacles. So... Fives represent change, but they also represent a challenging energy. So for some Sages, this can be you feeling down and out, feeling depressed. And if if you are a Sag that is feeling like this, you really, really need to rely upon your friends this month. 
And if I remember correctly, I think this is a message that came up for you recently in the weekly tarot forecast, either maybe last week or the previous week. I know that I've received this message for you uh, recently, Sag, with the weekly forecast. Um, but friends are going to be of significance for you. Um, the Five of Pentacles can be, yes, you feeling down and out, feeling depressed, but also this could be you losing faith with someone or something. Dealing with some sort of challenging energy or people, maybe even feeling a lack, even though you might not necessarily be lacking. This could be, this could be for some of you feeling a lack financially or feeling a lack of support. But I think that spirit is showing me different. I think that you have a lot of love and support around you. And maybe it's just a matter of you communicating and reaching out to these friends. Um, for some of you, maybe you need to get back in contact with, you know, an old friend. I think that for some of you, you need a more optimistic viewpoint. And there might be the need for more balance. Um, I think that for some of you, you're simply spreading yourself a little bit too thin and you're taking on far too much. Uh, how other people around you are seeing you, we do have justice. So you could be making a very important decision this month, uh, Sag, with justice here. But also maybe towards um, the second to third week of the month, you know, maybe things are coming more in balance for you. You're not spread so thin. Maybe you're able to, you know, split up your time from this to that. Um, if you were spreading yourself a little bit too thin, um, you're becoming balanced with justice here. Now... For some Sages, for some, and this is just, just for a select number of Sages, this is not for all of you, but for some Sages, there might be a marriage or a, a long-term relationship uh, that is coming to an end with this energy here. And quite possibly, you could have found out about a third person now, for some Sages, that could be a friend. Maybe you found out that your spouse was cheating on you and you found out that it was a friend for some Sages, not all. And for other Sages, this can very well be a relationship that has come to an end or maybe you're making the decision to end a relationship. Now, if this isn't a marriage, this can also be like a business partnership. Um, Anything that is involving a contract. So for some Sages, you might be making the decision to end some sort of business partnership. And I feel like if that's the case, if this is you ending a, a marriage or a relationship, severing ties from something, I feel like it was weighing you down and it was not serving you. I feel like if the, especially if this was a relationship, I mean, you can you can probably relate to this as a business relationship as well. I feel like whatever this was, you did not get what you needed from this relationship, whether that be business or romantic. I feel like there was a massive void. And I think I've even received this message for you previously, maybe in the weekly forecast. Um, I feel like there was a massive void. There was something that was missing here. Maybe it wasn't a fair relationship. Maybe you were always the one that was giving Sag and that other person could have been a taker, you know, always taking, taking, taking and never, you know, never giving back, never giving you that love, that support that you needed. I feel like it might not have been like an equal fear partnership. But you're, you know, this is this is justice being served. This is karma. This is justice. So whatever this is, however you relate to this, Sag, just, justice will be served. And I do feel like for many of you, the ball is in your court. You know, this is fairness coming in. This is more balance coming into your life. And if this is a relationship that was weighing you down, this is the best thing for you because you're going to be able to move forward towards something better. 
And for some of you, this sun energy could have been something difficult coming to light um, for some of you. And there could have been an earth sign person or even a Leo that had something to do with this for some of you. Now, in your hopes and fears position, what's interesting is I have the three of cups here, but then in the hopes and fears, I have the three of wands. So for some of you, there's definitely maybe a three-party situation. Now, you could have been the Sag who was married. Maybe you met someone else. I mean, that can go. this can go in that direction as well. But this is you either wanting or hoping for your ships to come in or wanting something new to begin and wanting something to progress forward or move forward. So I think that even though, you know, if you're a Sag that is relating to this energy this way, I still see movement. I still see um, an amazing outcome because you're leaving this month and going into the month of December with the energy of the world. So things have come full circle for you. This is completion. This is you completing a very long chapter within your life and now you're moving on to that next chapter, Sag. So this is incredibly beautiful, blessed energy. I mean, you couldn't have ended this month on a better note. So I see you healing from all of this past difficulties. I see you completing, for some of you, maybe a long, stressful, difficult cycle within your life. This is movement forward, moving on to that next chapter. And I think that for many of you, that's why we have the Knight of Wands. You're very excited. You're passionate. And really, um, you can go in any direction you want. Um, for some of you, this could be... Uh, a new contract coming in for some Sages, you could be landing a new job, you could be receiving that legal decision or you're making a decision that allows you to maybe move forward or receiving a decision that allows you to move forward, um, but you're moving towards new beginnings. And with the sun here, right at the start, right at the center, and then to leave with the, the world, this is some really amazing blessed energy. And you're leaving the month on a high note. Even though some Sages, you know, you might have faced some difficulties, you're still leaving the month on a really high note. Oh, here we go. Financially, I think it's going to be a great month because I see opportunities coming in. Um, I think this Five of Pentacles is more, uh, for some of you, it's more of a pessimistic sort of viewpoint. I think you're losing faith, but, th but I do think things are going to turn around. And I think that some of you really need to rely upon your friends. Oh, I have one card that flipped over, so that's the one that I want. Emotionally, I see you healing. And the first card that I, that I had that flipped out for you, Sag, is Revelation. Look at this. Revelation. Things are being revealed. You're realizing, you know, for some of you, for some of you, you're realizing something. You're having some sort of revelation, some sort of positive insight or clarity is coming to you. And it's going to free you from this energy here. And then uh, your romance angel oracle card for the month is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And this card has come up, I couldn't even tell you for how many signs, I've lost count now. A lot of signs are pulling this for November. So November is a month of reconciling for a lot of people. So someone from your past, so even if you are a Sag that is ending a relationship that literally was no longer serving you, someone from your past is coming back. Now this isn't always someone that you dated. This could be like an old friend or someone you haven't seen since high school, someone coming back for you. So this is really nice. So for some of you, you could be leaving a difficult relationship and then reconciling with someone else and it's just a better match for you. Definitely more balance coming in for you. More balance, more harmony. So I definitely see it being a wonderful month for you, Sag. I see you uh, having a lot of opportunities here. Just try to remain positive, try to remain strong, and on the love front, you definitely could be reconnecting with someone from your past. 
So Sag, I do hope that you found this reading helpful. If you need additional guidance aside from the monthly and, and weekly tarot forecast I offer here on my channel, please head over to Facebook or Instagram and follow me there. 